welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And at the moment, I'm holding a heap of votes on my Instagram so you can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, bethroars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. I do lessons both in London, UK and online. And last but not least, do check out my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash bethroars, where you can get more exclusive content. Also, this is a request from one of my patrons. It's a request from a guy called Necrolord. Interesting, Lord of Death. Hey. I'm real interested in these guys. This guy has a massive range and is also a vocal coach, so I'm expecting, hopefully it'll be pretty, pretty good. Although not all vocal coaches, they can be great vocal coaches, but don't always put it in practice on their own voice. I've heard that a lot. It doesn't mean they're bad. It just means that's not where they're putting their focus. But I think this is someone who does. Let's go. It looks like Thunder in the Glen, which is like a Harley Davidson rally in Scotland. And yes, I did go with a friend of mine who loves Harley. Oh, I love this. So much energy. Oh. I think I would love to get lessons of this guy. Because, you know, distortion isn't my thing. Oh, he sounds... So easy for him, this is high. Oh my god, I think I'd love to get lessons from this guy. I mean, I'm totally gonna get in touch because this is the sort of stuff that is not my forte. I'm really good at like clean singing and helping people find their mix, which he obviously is great at, but is this distortion that I would love to learn a little bit more and be able to give my people the tools to be able to sing healthily in this rock, grungy style effectively. It's all learning though, bro. I love that, it's so jazz. And I know, I know you're like, what jazz? But the first place I ever heard this was on Etta James, At Last. Do you want <laughs> what a fantastic mix. It's amazing how he's switching between this lowish distortion and then this, wow, incredible mix. Incredible high mix, I can't believe it. And you know what, for you guys, if you're trying, you will never ever get there if you were going with full chest voice. This is all I can say. I can just imagine loads of people being like, Aah! and not ever quite making it. So what you wanna do is lighten it off. You can hear, it doesn't have that, heavy chest voicey type of sound. It just has that light piercingness. So it's all about going more towards head voice than you would even suspect and getting tone and punch behind it and resonance. It's about finding your resonance. We are traveling forever. Ah! We better pull together. The end is near. Wow. There's so many different types of distortions he's using as well. I see he does lessons. I want one. More than one. I'm really interested into what method he uses or if he just uses his own method. There is a few kind of well-known ones. There's CBT, Complete Vocal Technique, which tends to be very good. I know the lead singer of Diamond Head, who? 
is going to be on my podcast so do tune in for that but he uses cbt and he's a similar sort of singer has these mega mega like crazy high notes i did a belt class with him once and was like you can you can belt higher than me and i'm a soprano so he uses that there is also melissa cross method Again, I don't know much about that. I know more about CBT. So if you're interested in learning these techniques, I would check both of these out. And also check out this guy because he does lessons. If you want to learn to sing like him, go to him. That was like a really cool distortion on the end, like a microphone distortion. And he's really into that because I saw it on his website. It's like a delay. So delay, if I use that term, is like echo on the microphone. Reverb is like the sound of the room, the, the kind of bounciness of the sound of the room. Is that the best way to describe it? Yeah, I think so. going to be like some guys being like no you must describe it like this this is a better way so please do it in the comments and I'll correct myself on the next one wow they can play as well voices like this and you're like why the hell are they not like the biggest the biggest band in the world like it's incredible I haven't even paid attention to what it is, I just knew it was high. You can tell as well that it is in Phil Bell, and one of the things that he's doing really well is mic technique. So it's quite close, his mic is really close on these high notes. It's not as loud as you think it would be, it's very very resonant and very strong but it hasn't got like sheer volume so he's not having to move away from the mic he's actually moving in so that you hear that punch I love this kind of big wobbly 80s vibrato Wow, incredible. Fantastic. Oh, I hope I can get him on the podcast for sure. I'm gonna email him. If you wanna email him as well and tell him to come on, please do. I think he looks awesome, he's so cool. I felt like I didn't have much to say in that because this guy clearly knows what he's doing and some of the techniques are quite alien to me. It's really different in that like my background is pop and musical theater. So it's like so opposite, but so amazing. And gosh, I feel like I'd have a lot to learn from him. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.